Jose Campos lost his job in a tannery two years ago and has been selling bread on the streets ever since. He doesn't make much, but he says it's the best he can do. He says that speaks volumes about what his country is going through. It feels like a crisis. I worked for over 20 years and I cannot find anything else. I have six kids. The youngest is 12 years old. I have to continue fighting to feed my family. Argentina's economy is struggling. One of its biggest problems is the devaluation of the currency against the power of a strengthening U.S. dollar. The government of Mauricio Macri has gone to the International Monetary Fund for help, reportedly for 30 billion, in case the situation gets even worse. In times of crisis, Argentines change their pesos for U.S. dollars to protect their savings. But the biggest fear is that a higher U.S. dollar would translate into more inflation. Argentina is already coping with double-digit inflation rates, and there are many who cannot keep up with the changing prices. But many Argentinians say the government's plan is doomed to fail. They still remember what happened last time their country went into debt with the IMF. We cannot make it until the end of the month. The money is worth nothing. Going back to the IMF is like going back in time. We keep on making the same mistakes over and over again. The fears of a serious financial crisis are everywhere these days bringing back memories of 2001, when Argentina defaulted on its sovereign debt. Bank accounts were frozen to prevent a bank run. Millions of people lost their jobs. The country went through five presidents in 11 days. But economists say that even though today's economy has problems like deficit and inflation, the situation is different. That we are not going back to default or what happened in 2001. We have a very solid financial uh, system at this point. When you look at it from a solvency and from a liquidity point of view, uh, we have higher standards than the higher around the world. But Argentina clearly has a lot of problems to solve in front of itself. Careful predictions of a better future, deep fears of a bitter past. But for so many in Argentina, just getting through the day is enough to struggle with. Teresa Wong, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.